Tell you what, there is nothing better than drinking sweet tea out of a mason jar. They are so handy. I love my mason jars. I drink my tea out of them. I organize my studio with them. I even decorate my table with them. That's right. I use mason jars to, you know, use for my flower arrangement. So today what I'm going to show you is a super easy way to tie the perfect bow around the neck of your mason jar. To create your perfect bow, you're going to need about 30, 36 inches of fabric. You may or may not need that much, but it's always best to have a little more than a little bit, you know, too little and not be able to complete your bow. If your fabric isn't long enough, you can just sew a couple strips together like I've done on the bias and that'll lengthen your fabric. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the right side of this um, this strip of fabric so I have the pretty side looking at me and I'm going to measure about 18 inches up that's my center point to wrap around the jar as you're wrapping you are refining and making sure that every um, bit of the pretty side is looking at you so just work a little refine a little Pull that out, pull this out, and you should have a short side and a long side. And this is the same thing as what we do when we tie our shoes, but the trick is, is how we manipulate the fabric so that at the end we don't um, have a bow that's just twisting and looking kind of awkward. On the left side then, you're going to take and create a loop, and notice that I'm folding the fabric to the back. I'm not um, folding it over, I'm not twisting it, I'm just folding it to the back and I'm holding it then with my left hand here, so with my thumb and my index finger and then I'm going to take the long side, the right side, and I'm going to put it over my thumb, wrap it around the back and then obviously I've created that little hole there and pull your loop through. Now it looks kind of like a jumbled mess but this is where you kind of work and refine and make sure that it's pretty. So before you pull it tight then, I want to adjust my fabric and I'll work a little, pull it down. You can adjust these loops to be as big or as little as you want. Kind of make them so that they look proportionate to the jar. Now just trim the ends. and you're ready to add your flowers. Now it's just a fun way to dress up something super quick, super easy. I know we all know how to tie our shoestrings, but sometimes it's those little techniques that make all the difference and um, light up somebody's day with a little flower arrangement from flowers in your backyard. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this project. Remember, you can get the project instructions on the website. Thanks for joining me. I'm Linda Peterson. Keep living a creative life because I think it's cool to craft.